in the village of Gossamer Falls, nestled beneath a sky spun from starlight and stardust, lived a girl named Lyra. Where others saw cobblestone streets and rickety cottages, Lyra saw whispering pathways paved with moonbeams and houses carved from the dreams of dandelion fluff. Hers was a world where fireflies held whispered secrets and raindrops played melodies on windowsills. Unlike the villagers, content with weaving baskets and tending gardens, Lyra craved adventure beyond the willow lined brook that bordered their haven. She yearned to chase wisps of fog into hidden valleys and climb whispering vines to the clouds. The elders told her of the whispering woods, a forest woven from moonlight and guarded by mischievous sprites. Legends spoke of forgotten magic and singing stones, but venturing there was forbidden. One twilight, drawn by an ethereal melody carried on the wind, Lyra found herself at the edge of the forbidden woods. The forest pulsed with an eerie luminescence, moss glowing like emeralds and flowers blooming with starlight. Hesitantly, she stepped in, the whispering melody guiding her deeper. She found the source of the song, a lone blossom with shimmering petals, pulsed with the same light that bathed the forest. As she reached out, the blossom unfolded, revealing a tiny creature with butterfly wings and eyes like amethysts. It chirped, an ethereal sound that resonated deep within Lyra. The creature, a wisp sprite, took her on a whirlwind adventure. They raced through tunnels carved by lightning bugs, danced with giggling fireflies and listened to the ancient tales whispered by the trees. Lyra learned the language of the forest, understanding the rustle of leaves and the gurgle of the stream. But lurking in the shadows, unseen by playful fireflies, was a gloom weaver, a creature spun from nightmares and despair. It coveted the forest's light, seeking to extinguish its magic and plunge the world into eternal darkness. Lyra armed with the melody of the whispering woods and the courage she found within, confronted the gloom weaver. Their battle was a clash of light and shadow, song and silence. Lyra sang the forest stories, filling the air with hope and joy, while the gloom weaver wove webs of fear and despair. Just as the gloom weaver threatened to engulf the forest, Lyra remembered the wisp sprite's song, Singing with all her might, she summoned the forest's magic, a tide of light that pushed back the shadows and banished the gloom weave. If the danger passed, Lyra knew her place was no longer within the gossamer falls. She embraced her newfound connection with the forest, becoming its protector and guardian. She taught the villagers to hear the whispers of the wind and see the magic in the mundane. Gossamer Falls, once a sleepy village, blossomed into a haven of wonder and shared imagination. And so, the girl who saw more than cobblestones became the bridge between her own vibrant world and the one her village 